PDP, Jonathan, IBB Boys, Gazal, Sambo, Governor's Battle to Hijack Party. The leaders of PDP are currently in the supremacy battle over the soul of the party. Former President Goodluck Jonathan is said to be rolling out his political armor ahead of the election of the party's national chairman. Eight aspirants are jostling for the election of national chairmanship slated for December 9. Former President Goodluck Jonathan is said to be rolling out his political armor against some People's Democratic Party. P2PS governors in a fierce battle for the soul of the party at Saturday, December 9, crucial national convention. The Nation reports that those scheming for control of the party's machinery include, ex-Vice President Namadi Sambo, ex-Vice President Atiku Abubakar, who is yet to officially join the party, ex-governors. Loyalists of ex-President Ibrahim Babangida led by a former National Security Advisor, NSA, Gen. Others include, Ali Guzal, ex-President of the Senate, Chief David Mark, Deputy President of the Senate, Chief Ike Kremadu, ex-Deputy President of the Senate, Senator Ibrahim Mantu, members of the party's Board of Trustees being coordinated by its chairman, Sen. Amadou Ali and Professor Jerry Ghana, a former Minister of Information. Nage. Com gathered that serving governors are being coordinated by Governor Nisam Wyke of River State and his Ikiri State counterpart, Aofeos. Former governors of the party including Ibrahim Chima, Katsina, Rashidi Ladoja, Oyo, Gabriel Suzwam, Benmu, Ibrahim Idris and Idriswada. Both Kogi, are not left out. The nation's investigation revealed that almost every godfather in P2P is backing one candidate or the other for election into the National Working Committee, NWC. PDP, Jonathan, IBB Boys, Guzal, Sambo, Governor's Battle to Hijack Party. The objective is to enable the Godfathers have a say in the management of the party, especially in the choice of the party's presidential candidate for the 2019 election. It was gathered that the interest of the Godfathers has complicated the intrigues surrounding the contest for party offices at the December 9 convention. Although some party leaders are pushing for merit, some other leaders believe that all the candidates have been tested in the past. The positions of National Chairman, National Secretary, Deputy National Chairman, North, Deputy National Chairman, South, the National Organizing Secretary and the National Publicity Secretary are attracting more interest from the Godfathers. The top contenders for the national chairmanship are, a former acting national chairman, Prince Huck Secondus, a former minister of education, Professor Tund Adniran, a former deputy national chairman, Chief Olabode George, a former minister of sports, Professor. Tawid Aid Doja, a former governor of Ogun State, Atun Bagbenga Daniel, ex-governor of Oyo State. Senator Rashidi Ladoja, a media mogul, High Chief Raymond Dokpezi, and a former governorship candidate in Lagos State, Jimmy Agbage. A breakdown of the support base of the chairmanship aspirants is as follows. Deputy Senate President, Ike Kremadu, Wyke, Faos, P2P Governors, State P2P Chairman. Hund Adan Iron, Jonathan, IBB Boys, Guzal, Ghana, Ali, Man 2, Both Members. Atun Bang Benga Daniel, Ex Governors, a splinter of IBB Boys. Al Abode George, some Both Members. Tawid Aid Doja, Bot Members, some Northern Delegates. Jimmy Agbage, Southwest Delegates, Both Members. 
Rashidi Ladoja, ex-governors but under pressure to accept concession of deputy chairman slot to his choice. A top party source said, the jostle for offices at the national convention is going to be a battle royale because the godfathers in the party and the governors want to slug it out to install their loyalists. For ex-president Good Luck Jonathan, the convention will be a litmus test for his plans to be a father figure for PDP. But if he fails, it might be another political setback for him after the loss at the poll in 2015. Jonathan and others, especially loyalists of ex-president Ibrahim Babangida, are working hard for a national outlook for PDP but some of the governors think otherwise. They said they are already conducting some permutations. Our greatest fear is that all these forces are trying to outsmart each other. If the party leaders can cage the governors and allow the delegates to have a final say, we will be opening a new chapter for PDP. A member of Board of Trustees of PDP said, We are all worried because if we do not get it right, we might as well say goodbye to our chances in 2019. The party is on the edge again. We are however struggling to appeal to all groups to sheath their sores and avoid implosion at the convention. Responding to a question, the Baath source added, all our leaders are conscious of the 2019 poll and they are struggling to be relevant. You cannot blame them because in politics, relevance matters. A governor, who spoke with our correspondent last night, said, I think the way out of any crisis at the convention is to allow for a free and fair contest. We need to live up to our appellation as a democratic party. We are already working on a unity list because we do not want to play into the hands of the ruling party. Certainly, there will be more horse trading in the days ahead but we will survive it. We urge the judiciary not to entertain any frivolous application to stop the convention from holding. Com had previously reported that one of the national chairmanship aspirant of the PDP paid a visit to former governor of Delta State, Chief James Ibori.